Uh, occasionally we would hear some glasses break and some banging on the walls, floors. Uh, not sure, you know, who is doing it. A toxic and violent relationship between Courtney Clinney and Christian Obumselli, described by their old neighbor in Austin. Oh, let's have a it all ended April 2022 with a 911 call from the couple's Miami high rise. Ma'am, listen to me. You need to stop screaming on the line and give me the address. 3101. I can't get my arm. Please, God, please. Come see my husband. Clinny stabbed her boyfriend to death. She says it was self defense. She defended herself with every ounce of, of energy she had left. And Clinny's parents, in their first interview, say just a couple weeks before, Obam Selly tried to kill their daughter. She said that she was passing out. He was strangling her. The Miami Dade State Attorney says Obam Selly was the victim of domestic violence for years. One video shows Clinny hitting him in an elevator. But the Clinnies say the footage also shows Obam Selly manhandling her. You can see how desperate she is for him not to follow her. She's trying to push him off the elevator because she doesn't want him to come in. And, and you can see he's like a rock, her trying to push him out. And she can't push him out. And I think the people who have shown that video do tend to cut out the part where he has her in a headlock. As the Clinties continue to defend their daughter, they've hired their own defense attorney. I'm representing two parents who love their daughter very much and are just trying to help her legal defense in any way they can. But did they do so illegally? Deborah and Kim Clinney are facing criminal charges for unauthorized access to a computer. Prosecutors say they successfully logged into Obam Selly's computer after his death when they didn't have permission to do so. The Clinney's attorneys say they did, as it belonged to both Obam Selly and their daughter, and law enforcement left it behind at the couple's apartment. The only way that law enforcement even knew that this computer existed was because they read confidential attorney-client messages that they accessed through a warrant, uh, and reviewing those messages was unlawful.